crafting video, I guess. Recently, I posted quite a few photos on Instagram of different doll rooms that I've done. Like this one for Raven Queen using the Briar Beauty playset. And I got a, quite a few requests for a video on how I make my doll rooms. So that's what this video is, except I do want to make it clear these aren't necessarily permanent doll rooms. You should think of these as like a film set or you imagine a set on a stage would be for a play. They're not permanent installations. They're basically so I can take photos and break them down when I'm done for easy storage. This video is going to be about a Lizzie Hart's doll room. I'm gonna be using the Lizzie Hart's playset as the base. For my unboxing video for this playset, you can look in the description below for the link. Now this playset has a lot of pretty detail. I love the color scheme, but it's very, very basic. So we need to expand on this to make a full room. To do that, I'm gonna be using quite a few different materials, red and gold paper. I have red and gold fabric, and this fabric is actually a table runner that I got off of Amazon for, I think it was like four or five dollars. I'm gonna be using some scrapbook paper. I'm also gonna be using these existing flats, which are cardboard wrapped in contact paper. I also have this piece of white cardboard, which I will be using as one of the walls. The fabric I used to make some bedding. So I made this red pillow. I tried making a heart-shaped pillow, one side red and one side gold. The fabric is very, very cheap fabric, obviously. It was a table runner that's very long for only four or five dollars. So I sewed it and then when I flipped it inside out to stuff the pillow, the stitches tore and tore the fabric. So I really had to like kind of Frankenstein it back together. So it's not a perfect little pillow, but I feel like I salvaged it enough to be useful. I also made kind of a small runner out of the gold fabric and I ended up using uh, fabric glue to hem this end because I was having so much problem with the fabric falling apart with stitching. And then I took a piece of red fabric and just hemmed it to make kind of a little top sheet or blanket. I used the red paper to cover this box. This is a box that a pair of prescription glasses came in. It is shorter than the beds I've made in the past because Lizzie is a shorter doll. This box is only seven inches long, which is actually shorter than the Lizzie Hart's doll, but for the purposes of my doll room, I think it's fine that the length is shorter. It is about two and a half inches tall. So I covered the top and the two ends of this box with red paper. I put a little gold heart for detail on the end and this will be the base of the bed. And then I'm going to be using this red heart shape that I cut out of the cardstock paper as the headboard. I also cut out a gold heart shape. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use this yet. I also made some details. So here is a photo of Lizzie and her mother, the Queen of Hearts, which I used the gold and red paper to make a frame. And then this is a window. I printed out this illustration that I found on the internet. It looks like the Ever After High Castle. And then I copied the style of the window in the playset to make the window pane detail. And this is going to go right here to kind of create a window effect in the cutout of the playset. Now, one of the things I got a lot of positive feedback about my little doll room setups was the detail. So here's examples of the detail I like to include. This is furniture from other Ever After High play sets. Um, they're really Apple White themed, but I think the red and the gold work for Lizzie. Uh, I might not use them, I might, but I wanted to have them out and at the ready. I also have these pieces which form a table or a desk, and this is from the Way to Wonderland Raven Queen playset. I also have this ribbon and gauze. This is a really inexpensive and easy way to make decoration for doll rooms is collecting ribbons. So this black ribbon came on a present I got. 
Uh, this gauzy material, this is like tool ribbon from Walmart. I have this in like several different colors, but this is kind of a shimmery black and a white. And I've used this in a couple of different doll rooms. I used it in my Raven Queen room and my Briar Beauty room. I'll probably use this around the window that I'm making in the doll room. I've also collected Lizzie Hart pieces to kind of fill the room. I've got some of her clothing, her accessories, some handbags, um, and then some other little accessories. Like these are mini books that I used in my mini me doll room that I made a couple of videos ago. These are actually the teapot and tea cups that came with the Apple White Hattastic Party doll. Um, and I just collect these to see how I can decorate the room. I also made little hangers out of paper clips. Now they look kind of deformed because I make them to fit the outfit specifically. I don't make actual miniature hangers. So I don't have a specific way of making them. It's like, it's like free form sculpture here. Like this one kind of looks like a swan and it's so I can fit the straps here and they're secure without sliding off. And then finally, I utilize Ever After High doll packaging remnants. So this is a mirror from Ever After High packaging, a window, and then I love to populate the walls with images of Ever After High, just like a teenage girl would hang pictures of her friends on the wall. Um, that's exactly what I like to do as well. So first thing I'm going to do is double check my sizing. So I have my Lizzie Hart's playset lined up with this piece of scrapbook paper. And it's actually the same height, which is perfect. Since Lizzie is a shorter doll, I don't have to worry about extending my scrap paper for a taller doll. I bring in my piece of white cardboard, which is just left over from something. I can't even remember what this is from anymore. Again, these aren't permanent setups. So I like to reuse this piece of cardboard over and over again and just stick my different scrapbook paper to the cardboard. I'm gonna be using the kind of sticky tack you can use to hang a poster. Um, you can find this pretty much anywhere. I think I got it at CVS. Um, and you just pull off some little pieces, stick it to the back of the scrapbook paper, and then put it on the cardboard. Now the next step is to set up the walls. So you first, I'm gonna open my one play set and I'm gonna be lining it up to allow myself the maximum amount of floor space. Now I wanna make this wider, so I'm gonna use one of my flats to extend this wall. To support it, I'm not gonna glue it in place or anything like that, because again, I wanna break this down. I mean, of course, you could glue it in place or fix it in some more permanent way if you wanted to make this a permanent display. But what I normally do is just use a heavy book, perhaps the complete works of Lewis Carroll, to support the back. Now I need to put into place my last wall. And again, using a book to support the back. So now I have three full walls and one half wall. The half wall will allow me to set up some lights so I can bounce light better into the room when I'm done decorating. So now I start placing furniture and decorating. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is secure my little window. And again, I'm using that sticky tack to secure it. I do think I like that way that looks. So again, I'm using sticky tack on the back of the bow. And I'll place it right center. And they have little hooks here in the shape of a heart and a spade. And I wanna utilize that to kind of hold back the bow a little bit. The uh, the ends of the bow, I should say. And this is when I start to play and kind of move things around and start decorating.
done, I'm just gonna take this little accessory that came with this place, that little deck of cards. It's just a plastic piece with a handle. And put it right here on this little table with the laptop. I think I need something here, kind of to mask the scene. So I think I'm gonna use this window that I cut out from packaging. This jewelry box came with the playset. I used the gold heart I cut out from paper as a tray for the tea set that I included. Uh, the accessories over here, I hung her dresses where the doll would normally hook into the playset. These little bottles and these makeup pieces are actually from my scene dolls. The little books are, I noted before I bought as doll miniatures and I've added Lizzie's purses and a collar and her shoes. I think this is something else I can add. This is Shuffle, Lizzie Hart's pet. It's a bobblehead, but I think it might look cute in this doll room. I've had this for a while and never opened it. Here's the little pet. It is a little bobblehead. I'm thinking about just kind of having the little pet just hang out. The only thing I'm not entirely pleased with is this kind of section back here. It's kind of empty space. Um, I'll move the table out of the way, but I put Lizzie's croquet mallet in here uh, just to fill the space, but maybe, maybe I should put her pet in there kind of hiding. Okay, so that works. What I did was I put in a little temporary shelf using cardboard and gold paper, and I used sticky tack to adhere it to the back of the playset, And then I put in Lizzie Hart's uh, visor from the Tri Castle On. And then um, I've got a little shuffle in the bottom, like that's his little home. And then you can kind of see her peeking through the legs. So that's cute. I do want to add a little something to the bedding, especially to hide this kind of wonky side of the heart pillow. This dress is, what is this from? I think it's Book Party Lizzie Hart. So I'm gonna use this and some fluff. So I'm just gonna fill the skirt with fluff, the skirt of the dress, and then fold over the top. And it kinda looks like a pillow. And that works. I think just one more detail. I'll take this Lizzie Hart's collar and use it to hide the doll stand hook. So I think it's done. So I'll be posting photos of this doll room on my Instagram. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I might do another kind of doll room thing in the future. I already have an idea for another one. So uh, stay tuned for that. And of course, if you want more information, you can always go to my website. Uh, you may not be able to comment on this video because YouTube might say it's made for kids because Lizzie Hartz makes an appearance. Uh, if not, you can always click on the link below to my website to comment on any video I make.